morning, everybody. How are you? Um, yesterday, it was fun to see you all on Zoom. It was nice to see Miss Stacy and have a nice music class. I also had another friend who was supposed to come yesterday, and she is a musical therapist, and she does a lot of fun things, and she was going to be talking about these felt boards that she has and how she can do these interactive stories with her felt boards right on her screen. So if she if she came, she was going to show you some of her cute felt pieces, and I thought they would they would sort of fall in line with the types of things that Katie and I like to do with all the books that we have. We have so many books that we cut out pictures of all the characters to help you remember the stories. And so you can do puppet shows and think about the stories a little bit more and sort of build your language development about the concepts and ideas and new words that you heard in the story that day. So um, I thought that would have been fun to see her. So maybe we'll get to see her another time. All right. Now we're also talking a lot about cooking and a lot of you did the cooking class with us last week. I mean, on Wednesday, and we talked about one quarter of a cup. We took one fourth of a cup of flour and one fourth looked like this with the one over the four, right? And we didn't even use all of it, but it was just the idea of one fourth. And we were gonna be talking about that this week and I really haven't done much with you for one fourth. So we looked at the Montessori shape pieces and we already had done one whole, two halves, one, two, three thirds, and one, two, three, four quarters. Four quarters, that's, and if I took one out, that's one of the four pieces. That's what one fourth means. One of the four. One of the equal four pieces that makes a whole. That's all. And so you can do it with liquids or dry ingredients for cooking, or you can do it with a sandwich. So this morning, Miss Jill brought a peanut butter sandwich. Any kind of sandwich would do. I just chose to make a peanut butter sandwich for you. So the sandwich right now is a whole sandwich, right? But if I take my knife and I cut it in half. Do you think that looks like just about half? I'm gonna push that down. And now, I'll put my little knife over here for a minute. We have, it's still a whole sandwich, right? But we have two halves. One half for me and one half for you. Would you like a half a peanut butter sandwich? Mm, yummy, right? What if I cut that in half again? Did your mommy ever cut your sandwich into more than two pieces? So if I take that and I cut across half again, what do you think that's gonna be? If I cut my half again, look, how many pieces are there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four pieces, and you know what this is? One of the four pieces, which is one fourth. Who knew you knew fractions, right? So I thought I would talk about that, and then we could talk about it with liquid ingredients. I brought a little experiment. So I have a little container here. I'll sort of put it over here so you can see it. It's empty, right? There's nothing in it. This is my measuring cup. I'm gonna pour it in here. So this is empty now, that's one cup, right? And this one says one over four. So that means this is one part of four. How many parts of four do we need to make a whole? Four fourths. So let's see, do you think that there's four fourths in here? Let's try. One, two, three, four. And now my measuring cup is filled all the way to the top. It might even spill. So four fourths equals the whole cup. And now I can pour the whole cup back into my container. So if you're out for a water table today or this weekend and you have your measuring cups, you could see if you can make that happen. Can you take four of the one quarter cups and pour them into your one whole cup? 
and fill it all the way to the top? You can try. All right, so let me put all my measuring things away for now. All right, so I thought today, well, we can start with our morning calendar song, or actually we could start with a good morning song, right? I should have done that in the beginning. Good morning, good morning, how do you do? Good morning, good morning, I'm fine, how about you? Are you doing good today? I'm doing fantastic. I'm a little bit surprised that it's so rainy out this morning. I guess I didn't listen to the weather. Did you know after such a gorgeous day yesterday, do you know that my car said it was 93 degrees yesterday? That is super caliente, muy hot, right? So today I went outside. It's muggy and warm. It's definitely not cool, but it's rainy. So let's put rainy up on your calendar, okay? Let's find the one with the rainy. I see cloudy and rainy. So we have clouds and rain today. Do you think it will get nice later? I don't know. I hope it does, but I don't know. I guess I did know it was going to rain because we were supposed to have a, we were going to have a picnic with the daycare providers today and we were all going to bring our own lunches and we were going to sit more than six feet apart in a big circle in someone's backyard so that we could talk a little bit about daycare and what it will take to reopen. But they had to cancel the garden party and we can't go in anyone's house with coronavirus, though we've been doing Zoom meetings instead. I think people are a little tired of Zoom meetings. They wanna go see somebody, right? Okay, so anyway, today, yesterday was numero cuatro, four. What number comes after four? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, or one, two, three, four, five. We need to find our five. Can you find your five? Oh, look, I found mine. Isn't that a good five? So put that up on your calendar. It's still June. We said yesterday was Thursday, right? So tomorrow, I think Cora told us yesterday it was Thursday. Today is the day after Thursday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that's right. So we need to find our Friday. Move our Friday up to today. Move our Thursday to yesterday. And do you know what comes after Friday? Tomorrow is not a school day. It begins with S. S. That's right, Saturday. So tomorrow is Saturday. Maybe if it's nice this weekend, maybe your family will do a picnic at the beach or something, or a picnic in your backyard. Bet you've been having a lot of cookouts lately, right? My husband loves to have the grill going when it's nice weather like this. We'll probably bring some hamburgers to the Cape this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to see my grandchildren. They might come to the Cape this weekend. We'll see. Okay. Have you seen your grandmother lately? Sometimes it's hard to see grandparents with coronavirus. I've only been able to see mine from outside in a yard with a mask on. But we're going to see what happens. Okay. So, anyway, today, Miss Katie, I'm looking at the calendar this morning before I got on the um, the video with you for YouTube and I saw that Miss Katie has going to be reading you a book called Gorgonzola. I think she's already taped it. It should be on her YouTube channel. You should be able to find it. Okay and she has an art project she said that she put in your kit for this week so you can do a cute art project for that. Now yesterday I didn't get very many um, school postings of your work from yesterday so you probably should try to catch up on yesterday's work because yesterday we had a really fun painting you were supposed to do of you and your dad from the book every friday which is one of my favorite favorite books and i was hoping you could paint a picture of you and your dad and then give it to him as a secret surprise for father's day right because that's going to be coming up soon anyway So for math, you can choose three pages from your bingo math folder. From science, you can observe your plants. And I've, there's a few of you that haven't sent me an update of your plants. I'd like to see an update of your plants. Send me some pictures or do a little video of your garden tour. My garden is getting, you know, it's really getting quite good. I did actually pick up a couple more plants to put in because I lost a couple of plants. So I'm trying to like refill them. I think an animal ate one of my 
the cucumber plants and I actually need to try to fill in a little bit of a hole from that cucumber. And today I planted a couple of zucchini seeds outside in an area where I actually have a little bit of space. And if I get a lot of extra zucchini, then you guys can maybe swing by this summer. We'll set up a little farm stand outside and you guys can drive by in your car and pick up some produce. And if anybody wants any lettuce, you can come by, you can call me and let me know. I will be here this morning until probably noontime. So if any of you want a head of lettuce, you could call me and either I could take you in with a mask on and and you could come in and you could cut your own head of lettuce or maybe I will have to use the scissors, but you could come and you could watch me cut it or I could cut it and I could just hand it to you in your car window if that would be safer. But anyway, if you need a head of lettuce, let me know because my heads of lettuce will get sour if I don't pick them soon and they're really terrific right now. I think I have about 20 of them out there. So I can't eat 20 heads of lettuce in a week. All right. <clears throat> And then we said for snack, for sand and water play, oh, today it says play with dinosaurs. So maybe some of those little manipulatives I gave you, the counting things, I think I gave everybody some dinosaurs. Maybe you can play with your dinosaurs in your sand and water table. And Uma, David, and Heinz, um, I did find some of my water toys. And since we won't be going back to school, I don't believe this summer. <clears throat> and if we do do a camp, maybe in August, <clears throat> I think it's going to take me a while to do all the things they want me to do to get ready to reopen. I could always ask people to bring some of the things back that we might need if we reopen. But right now, it doesn't look like it's going to be very fun to reopen because all the things Katie and I did, like face painting and, um, you know, we did the the beauty camp where we did little pedicures and manicures and all those kind of things and makeup and things like that. I'm not really sure we can really do that with coronavirus. So it doesn't really seem like that would be very fun and nobody can play within six feet of each other. So, and we can't even like use the same slide. Like, I don't know. I just, I think our, our easel would be great because it's got the plastic in between and you could have one person on one side and one person on the other. So that, that would be fun. Or maybe we could do, either do one family on one side or one family on another. So I have to call my office and find out what types of things we can and can't do and see if there's enough fun things to do to make it worthwhile to do a little bit of a camp maybe in August if we could do it safely. So I will let you know on that. But for now, we don't have any school lined up, at least through the end of June, and I don't believe into July. Okay, so that's a little update on that. So those are our activities for the day. Should we sing our Days of the Week song? Days of the Week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, and days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, so I want to see you practicing one quarter. Maybe if you have a sandwich today for lunch, you could cut it into quarters. So you cut it in half and cut it in half again. Maybe mommy can give you a plastic knife and you can cut yours into quarters. Or if you have some of that Play-Doh that we made with our Play-Doh recipe, you could maybe roll it into a log so that it looks like a long pencil. And you maybe could cut that in half and then cut each of those halves in half and you will have four even sized pieces. You could take one of them and show me and show me the other three that are left and show me one quarter. That would be great, right? And if you have dinosaurs and you have four in a cup, you could take one of the four dinosaurs out and say, here's one fourth of my dinosaurs, Miss Jill. There's another one, right? Okay, so there are some things you can practice for one quarter today. And you have your dinosaur book that you're gonna to listen to with Miss Katie, Gorgonzola. He's kind of stinky. And then you have an art project to do for that. And I'd like you to make up your paint you and your dad project from yesterday, okay? And so send me your work and your garden tours. I still need an update of a lot of people's reading. Lots of things for you to do and send to me. Should we sing our goodbye song? Goodbye, my friends. It was nice to see you. I hope you have some fun today. So clap your hands and stomp your feet. Move your body to the beat. It's your lucky day. Now it's time to say Goodbye to Avery, goodbye to Will. We missed you yesterday on our Zoom class. Goodbye to Grayson, it will be nice to see you. Na 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 
Goodbye to Felicity. Goodbye to Layton. Goodbye to A to Katie and Ashley. We hope we can see you. Na 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 na. Goodbye to David. Goodbye to Uma. Goodbye to Hines. It was nice to see you. Na 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 na. Goodbye to Lily. Goodbye to Eve. Goodbye to Emmy. It was nice to see you. Na 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 na. Goodbye to Grace. Goodbye to Max. Goodbye to Thea. It was nice to see you. Na 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 na. Goodbye to Annabella. Goodbye to Scarlett. Goodbye to Ozzy. It was nice to see you. Na 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 na. Goodbye to Virginia. Goodbye to Cody. Goodbye to Chelsea. It was nice to see you. Na 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 na. Goodbye to Cora. Goodbye to CJ. Goodbye to Melanie. It was nice to see you. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Actually, you know what we never did? We forgot to practice our graduation song. Should we sing that real quick before we go? Okay. It's time to graduate. Look, listen, and smile. It's time to graduate. Look, listen, and smile. Sometimes it's scary, but sometimes it's fun. One thing for certain, graduation has come. So we have to be figuring out how we're gonna do our safe graduation, right? I think that today, the seniors at Wellesley High School are having a parade down Washington Street. So Avery and Will and Lily, you're pretty close to that. I think it's, it might be from nine to 10. Um, you might be able to double check with the town on that, but I think it's from nine to 10 today, going down Washington Street. The um, they were asking people to maybe line up and just wave as they went by. All right, see you soon.